In the first Editing Templates video, you learned the basics of editing templates, including adding and deleting data types. In this follow-up video, I'm going to show you how to add or change constraints in an existing template. This includes an example of limiting a query to search against a specified gene list instead of against the entire yeast genome. I'm going to use a list of 332 genes that I've already loaded using my mind and an existing gene ontology template. Go term to name, which retrieves all genes annotated to a specified Go term. However, I'm going to ask which of the genes on my gene list in particular are annotated to the specified term. I'll start by choosing any term that contains the keyword ask us for. After entering my Go term, I'm going to select the Edit Query button instead of selecting the Show Results button in order that I can alter my query to specify my gene list. This takes me to the Query Builder tool pre-filled with a template query. In the Query Overview window, you can see that gene, data type, is already included with a couple of very basic constraints. I want to keep these constraints as they limit the query to genes in the current genome release. In order to further limit the query to our 332 genes of interest, go over to the Model Browser. On the left, find the Gene section and select the red constraint button next to it. This will open up a pop-up window showing available options. Select the checkbox next to the Contained in List option and then choose a list from the pull-down menu. This pull-down should contain any list you have saved as well as a few pre-filled by SGD. Select the Add to Query button and you'll see that this constraint has been added to the query. Now just select the Show Results button to start your query. Here are my results. I can see that 12 of my genes are annotated to ask us for. But what if at this point I decided that I really wanted to ask which of the genes on my list are annotated to a term that contains the keyword membrane rather than ask a spore? No need to panic. I don't have to start all over. All I need to do is to go to my query and change that constraint. To do this from the results page, choose the query option from the trail section from the top left. This will return you to the query that you just ran. To change to the Go term constraint, scroll down to the section of your query and select the blue symbol next to the Ask a Spore constraint. This will open up a pop-up window where you can change this constraint. Then select the Add to Query button, and you'll see that this constraint has been altered in your query. When I run this altered query, you can see that now 215 of the genes on my list are annotated to the term that contains the keyword Membrane. Please contact us here at SGD with any questions or suggestions you may have at sgd-helpdesk at list.stanford.edu.